do is uh, <clears throat> show you how to solve for uh, two given angles inside of uh, uh, this quadrilateral. So a couple things we need to note about this. One thing, excuse me, I just had a sweet tart, so kind of know. All right. Um, one thing is we know that of a quadrilateral, all the angles add up to uh, 360 degrees. So initially looking at this problem, I'd want to say, well, it's pretty easy. All three of these angles, when added up, equal uh, 360 degrees. However, we have a problem. Man, those sweet charts make you sound it. Our problem is we have an X and a Y. If they're the same variable, it would be very easy for us to combine them. But since these are not the same variable, we can't solve you know, for both of them given one equation. Um, so we're gonna have to look for a different method. Now, these two have one pair of uh, one pair of parallel lines, which is called a trapezoid, if I remember correctly. And what's important about having these parallel lines since we, in geometry is we notice that now these lines, if we were to kind of continue these indefinitely. What they would do is they would actually give us two parallel lines. And these, if we contributed these indefinitely, these could act as like our transversals or a line that intersects two parallel lines. Well, what's important about this is we know that when we have parallel lines and a transversal, we have alternate interior angles, we have corresponding angles, we have same side interior angles. And, um, and yeah, I think I named all of them that uh, at least we go through. So one thing that you should know about uh, same side interior angles is 94 plus 3y plus 44 equals 180 degrees. And if you didn't remember that, let me show you something real quick on why that's true. Oh, they don't equal each other. Here's why that's true. Um, well, I guess I'd have to go and see if I could prove it with the other ones. This angle is the same as this angle by corresponding angles. Or you could also say this angle is equal to this angle by corresponding angles. Or I'm sorry, by alternate interior angles. These are alternate interior angles. These are corresponding angles. Um, now, these are both equal to each other. So therefore, these two angles, though, we know make up a straight line, so they add up to 180. These two angles add up to 180 because they also make up a straight line. So therefore, since this is equal to this, and these two add up to 180, I can now state that 94 plus 3y equals 180. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to subtract a 94 from both sides. I get 3y is going to equal... Uh, uh, let's see, it's going to be 86, right, yep, and then I'm going to divide by 3, all right, y is equal to, let's see, 3 goes into 60 20 times, well, that would be with the remainder of 6, Four plus 86, 178 is going to give me 180. Yep. Oh, that's 3y plus 44. I didn't write it down correctly. My bad. It says 94 plus 3y plus 44 equals 180. We all make mistakes, don't we? Sorry about that. Here, I can combine my like terms, okay? This would be 134, this would be 138 plus 3y equals 180. All right, subtract 138. Now I get 3y is going to equal 42. Now I divide by 3. Y is e going to equal, uh, let's see, it's going to be 3 goes into 30, 10 times, and the remainder of 4, so it's going to be 14. Now, one reason why I kind of stopped and I knew I made a mistake is I noticed I had a decimal. Now, decimals, guys, actually ha are, are very current. However, usually when doing work, you know, these problems from your book, 
it should tip off, hey, I need to make sure, just double check I'm doing everything correctly. Because more often than not, a lot of times we don't deal with our decimals because we're trying to make you guys understand the concept and not really worry so much about the numbers. So just because you have a decimal does not mean it's wrong. However, that should tip off for you to at least to double check, make sure everything you did was correct. And now I have y is equal to 14. For this problem, we can set up the exact same uh, situation. I can say 96 plus 2x equals 180. So I subtract 96. I get 2x is equal to 84. Divide by 2, x is equal to 42. So that's how you solve for two variables uh, when given a figure with two different, when given a quadrilateral with two different variables, but you have parallel lines and transversals.